the first bad experience I ever had was in, when I was in kindergarten and I'm sitting in the living room and all of a sudden we hear knock 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 and boom here comes the door flying open. I run around the corner of the bar that we had in the house and there they are in their all black SWAT uniforms, you know, full headgear, big machine guns, the dogs coming in. You know, they got my mom over here. I wasn't really paying attention to what they did to her because I was so focused on the fact that they had my dad. And they're like dragging him out the front door and slamming him down on the on the porch and he's like crying and screaming and they got the dog sitting in there and I'm scared of the dog because it's a freaking huge dog, you know. I'm like, what, how are you five years old in kindergarten? You know, as a little kid and um, so that, that the, the part that really got me is when they put my dad down and see my dad like that because my dad's big love bug and I never thought that that would happen. Nothing prepared me for the shock of what was about to happen. When I was looking out the window and all of a sudden around my picket fence there was like at least 10 and they were dressed like in SWAT gear. They had black helmets and black, they were black from head to toe. Um, black um, bulletproof vests and big black rifles and the front two had this big battering ram and they were running towards my house and it was it was like you cannot you don't have time to think I mean because they're coming so fast and they look so scary and all I knew was if they got to my door they're gonna shoot my dog because I have a pit bull and they'll shoot them on sight and they were screaming hands in the air and hands in the air and I didn't have my tie and my bathrobe and so I had to put my hands in the air and then I'm naked and then they're screaming turn around and stuff. So I turned around and remembered about my dog and tried to pull my door shut but they smashed past it and I just remember the barrel of a rifle facing me. This is what they're doing to me. I mean, it was it's shock, pure shock. This overstepping of authority is happening every hour of every day across the country. In fact, according to the Bureau of Justice statistics, between 400 and 500 innocent people are murdered by law enforcement officers every year.
This is not a war zone. This is not a war zone. These are unarmed people. It doesn't make you tough to hurt these people. Oh, 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 